everyone my name is Sony Kumar and welcome to my channel TechX. So in this video I will talk about the iTunes arrow the different different iTunes arrows and to their solution right so the first main problem is that when you restore IPSW through iTunes so you face a different different types of error for example let me tell you error number 4013 which is a hardware error if there is a error related to iTunes which is 4013 it means that hardware error in your device but if you talk about the software based error network based error right when you restore IPSW you face a lot of error so if you face the error so you find the solution on YouTube there is a lot of videos on YouTube uh, related to errors that you search on YouTube error number 4013 and you find a lot of videos related to it and you watch them they are they're just useless videos so in this video I will talk about a universal solution so let me tell you the in clear way I made a one solution which is called a universal solution to all the errors in iTunes okay so let me start how we can do it first of all you need to have the latest iTunes just disable the antivirus no need of it okay so you need a latest iTunes and let me show you the version of my iTunes which is 127346 which is the latest and I'm using a 64-bit operating system and also I'm using a 64-bit EXE for iTunes right so when you restore IPSW you face a problem errors this is normal solution I made It's my own you cannot find a video related to it related to it on YouTube it's my own okay so first of all you need to do some configuration to iTunes okay so if you have any antivirus for example a QQL or other antivirus so you need to configure your antivirus first open antivirus and here you can see go to network and uh, internet and network and firewall my firewall is by default your firewall would be uh, on okay so you need to just disable it go back go to the file and folder section and here just drag it here and go to the exclude file and folder and go to the add tick here tick here go to the folder and just find the directory where you install the item C and program files okay here, double click here and just uh, check this include subfolder because I want to allow this subfolder it will exclude the iTunes from antivirus it means that antivirus will not scan the iTunes when 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 you run the iTunes the uh, antivirus will not scan the iTunes so it will not check for the DLL files which which in which is inside the iTunes directory okay and okay save changes so antivirus configuration has been set successfully the firewall and exclude functionality and open control panel this is the second phase and search here firewall go to the windows firewall which is really important and let me tell you what is the purpose of firewall the main purpose of firewall to allow data packets from different network and allow the data packets from our network it means that if you want to connect with a different network so you need to allow the IP address and port to communicate with the different network it means that the outer network is not allowed directly so you need to specify the port program that you want to allow the outer traffic go to the allow and app feature through windows firewall go to the chat change setting and here you can see you can uh, i have a ah my TXE, apple post service which is private and public both network are allowed here go to the allow another app what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add my .exe extension, which is for iTunes, and simply just browse here and go to the desktop, search for iTunes. Yeah, here we go, and open it, add it. The iTunes is already in the list of exception. Okay, so means that in Windows Firewall, the iTunes already. Um, I mean. Uh, listed so and if, if you are if you not done it so you need to de do it otherwise don't worry okay just add my iTunes already add so don't add it again and okay and go to the advanced setting which is really important here we can rule inbound rule inbound means that internal traffic internal sorry internal internal rules 
and outbind rules I mean out outer network and this is called local network here or whatever you can call it go to the new rule and I want to allow the program means that if I allow the iTunes uh, I mean um, all the data packets will not be filtered by the firewall so just tick here program go to next and I want to allow the app means that you can see, see an example here browser.exe it means that we can specify exe here go to the desktop iTunes search for iTunes and ok next yes I want to allow the connection in firewall next all the network just set any name that you want finish and go to the advanced setting again go to out and rules new rules and yes I want to specify program and program path desktop same here and by default you can see the it is blocking the connection from outer network it means that I want to allow the connection so this all the things you need to do next all the domain private and public network just set any name any name you want and go to finish close it close it right now you are ready to solve every error in iTunes it means that if you face any error you no need to search on YouTube right now you can restore your IPSW without any error if you face error 4013 which is a hardware error if there is an error it means that you, know, you have a solution for that so this is a universal solution for all the error and don't worry about 4013 error which is a hardware error by the way so it means that you need to fix this error by hardware otherwise don't worry about any error okay that's all so thank you thanks for watching my video and please like share and subscribe